Hey guys, it's me Nabil and what a day and what a week and what a month to be an SNK and specifically a KOF fan. There's a lot of things to talk about today, a lot of cool things that happened uh, either from SNK mainly and also from yours surely. So we're gonna talk about all that today but before I do that a gentle reminder to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you are notified whenever I drop a new video. Now let's get started. Today, as I said in my previous video, which is the frame-by-frame -frame analysis of the Leona a DLC trailer, is that I didn't do it yesterday because I didn't have time because I was working on what was released today. And I said, well, I'll do it today. However, when I woke up this morning, I was surprised, just like all of you, I presume, to see the reveal of Team 1 and Team 2 DLC in an awesome trailer that we're going to dissect, we're going to look at, and do a frame-by-frame -frame analysis in this video rather than in another one. Uh, also, I'm going to talk about uh, the Famitsu is going to have a special on the King of Fighters 15 in, in their weekly uh, release, weekly magazine that is coming out on Thursday. And they showed one page from the, I believe it's 13 or 14 pages special. And one of them shows the stage that we haven't seen before, so we're going to talk about that as well. But let's, let's talk about what was released today in or at Neo Geo now, which is the series that I, that I have been working uh, for a very long time. That's why, as I said, I couldn't uh, do uh, daily videos. I couldn't do streams anymore because I was extremely, extremely busy. And I hope you guys had the time to check the video, which is the first part of a three episode series called The King of Fighters 15, The Story So Far. This is uh, a, you know a series that was uh, supported and approved by SNK as well as Kosh Media. And that was the reason why I couldn't talk about it. I couldn't release it, you know, as soon as I was done with it because there was, there was a schedule to follow. And as I said, this was approved by SNK. Uh, now this video is, the, the, re, the, uh, the whole idea of the series is to tell the lore of the King of Fighters from the first game up to the King of Fighters 15. The first episode is a retelling of the Orochi Saga. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. I worked a lot and I think this is the most editing, the most work I've done editing a video ever since I started the channel. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, or for those of you who didn't watch it, please go ahead and watch it. Uh, episode 2 and 3 are going to be released very, very soon. I can't say when, but a lot sooner than a lot of you expect. So check out, the again, the first episode of The King of Fighters, the story so far. Link is in the description below. Now let's talk about that amazing trailer. So Team 1 and Team 2 DLC and it's first the first one we got the trailer the reveal for both of them but the trailer only focused on the first one which is team garo right and it's made of none other than um rock howard b janet and the awesome gato which i was waiting for for a very long time now let's watch the trailer one more time before we go on a frame by frame analysis check it out a new challenger is ready to brawl. Rock Howard. <laughs>
Peace Power. Billy Khan. Yuji Yamazaki. Team South Town. What's the All right, so Rock Howard, and he's got the Unreal Engine glow up. So this is Team One. Is that what they called it? And just from the get go, you can see the uh, the details on the hair and the jacket. Look at look at the wrinkles, the leather wrinkles on that you can see on the black uh, here on his uh, on the logo. Keep the faith. I'm keeping the faith, man. This looks awesome. Just look at that. Look at Rock Howard. He never looked this good. He never looked this good. And I, and I dare to say it. So Rock Howard. Awesome hair physics in there. Rock Howard. Yuma Uchida. Same voice actor from the uh, King of Fighters 14. And he is here fighting uh, Garou Mark of the Wolves Terry. Effects look cool. His Ripuken. It looks much better than 14. God, this game is beautiful. This is is the EX Rising Tackle. This is his uh his parry move. And this is new. This is uh he didn't have that in 14, so it's a follow-up. I think it's the fact this is an EX, or maybe he, you actually have to follow up with it. I don't know, but this looks really cool. This is EX. Look at the, the effect on his blue flames just look fantastic. And Joe here. Uh, this is new too. This is not. Level 1 super. The effects are much better than what we saw when the game was announced. Before, so we canceled that into a level 2 super. She's probably in max mode. Level 2 super. There's Raging Storm. And then this is, we're going to see his climax. Look at that hair, man. Again, the details, the fine details. I, I can't look at that, man. This is wow. It, I mean, the whole thing looks nice, but once you do the frame by frame analysis, it actually you can see it frame by frame. Look at that. Look at the shirt moving. You can see his abs, man. I just I, I, I need Kim. I need Kim. This looks awesome. You see how his jacket is moving, how his shirt is moving. It's a lot of details. The game has definitely been polished since the first few trailers we were seeing. So can't wait to look at that, man. Just a lot of details on the on the clothing. Bam. Look at the shirts, man. Like they're really showing off with this thing now. Man, anyone who said who, who can who who's saying now that 15 just looks like a slightly better version of 14 is delusional. This looks awesome. He can't control his power. And the cool thing is, uh, this is actually now the DLCs. Oh, look at that! Wow, that looks awesome. The DLCs have stories, by the way. They have stories. They're part. They actually participate in any King of Fighters 15 tournament, so they're not just being added. And he's my boy, Gato, man. I loved Gato since the first time I saw him in Garo Mark of the Wolves. And I am glad he is here. And he looks fabulous. He looks fantastic. Look at that. 
Look at that. And he's not skipping chest day for sure. So Gato, of course, made his debut and got all Mark of the Walls. And he was in King of Fighters 2003 and 11. Uh, look at the hair. The detail on the clothing. Gato. Voice actor Yuma Yamaguchi. So I'll see some Gato moves. I love the details on his uh, gi or his... Uh, And his, uh, I think this is done with DP, I don't remember. But I'm just focused on those clothes moving and makes me think again about Kim. This move, I loved it. And got a mark of the walls, I believe he didn't have it. He didn't have it in 11. I don't remember if he had it in 2003. That's such a cool move. Just look at the details, how his, how his legs are moving. What a time to be a KOF fan. Fighting Maxima here. Some combos from Gato. Level 1 Super. Which, which is a great anti-air. And you have to make sure that you're close to your opponent to do it. Dude, he looks awesome. I think he said this he looks awesome a lot of times. Cancel that into a level two super as the neck break in. I like the effect. Let's see that one more time. So this is the damn. Slam the opponent, and then he's gonna cancel into his climax, which looks amazing. This is a poster right there. So it actually travels. It travels quite a lot in this uh, in this in this climax. So that means it seems really quick. Have to see if it goes through projectiles or not. Probably not. That would be crazy. And damn, look at that. Even for the frame by frame analysis, this is too fast. Let's hit him with the shoulder. With the shoulder. Boom, again. Boom. Wow, look at the details, man. He's not done yet. And then. Wow. This is nice, man. I. I'm going to have Gato on my team, that's for sure. And then we have B. Janet, who also was at the King of Fighters 11. And she looks really gorgeous. Great physics all around. The hair physics are insane for B. Janet. And these last few t trailers we've had, the team DLC and the other characters we had uh, the past, I would say, month and a half. I've just been really, really, really improved in terms of quality. Even though, I mean, the first ones don't look bad. They looked great. And this looks even better, which is crazy. So I'm wondering if the other characters have also got this level of polish. B. Janet also made her debut in the Garou Mark of the Wolves, obviously. Voice actress Mikako Komatsu. Her projectile. Let's look at the hair physics again. The effects look really nice. I mean, you can see this is the game has been really, really, really polished. I mean, come on, we're 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 about two weeks from release, so I don't know her moves. I haven't played B Janet since the only briefly back in when uh, Garou Mark of the Wolves was released and the. So I don't remember her moves at all, honestly. I haven't played her in in, in eleven. Find an Ash. I, I believe this is her DP with kick. It's the EX version. Was that no, was this a super? Did I miss? Yes, yeah, a super. It's a level one super. Cancels that into a level two super. 
Look at that hair flowing. And she cancels. She looks really well polished, guys. Um, she cancels into her climax, which is the same climax she had in 11. She ju it just looks much better here, of course, when she removes her sandals and beat the crap out of you. Look at Alec D expression in her face. Bam, bam, bam. bam. And then baseball hit. <laughs> She's funny. So that's team one. Team Gato release in March 2022. So it's probably going to be about a month after the game's release. That's crazy. That's crazy. And then we have team two. Which also really good, by the way, even though we've had these characters before in the previous game. Team 2. Geese Howard, but in an awesome looking suit. Very reminiscent of that real bout Fatal Fury uh, cover from back in the day. So Geese Howard, same awesome voice actor that he, that he had. Uh, since the first game, since the first Fatal Fury, Kong Kuata, I believe he was the first. I mean, he've been vo he has been voicing Geese for a very long time. Whether he was the original, I think he was. I think he's one of the voice actors that we've had since the beginning of the SNK franchise. Billy Khan also wearing a really nice suit. Again, reminiscent to that um, to that cover and. Yuji Yamazaki, not to be outdone, also getting a glow up and getting some really cool. Um, is that, I, I don't know if that's going to be like a, a, a full uh, coat or or just, we'll see. But we didn't get a trailer for them. They just It's Team Southtown releasing in May. So that's two months after the first one. So I'm looking like we're going to have a DLC team every two months. Team 3, they didn't say who, but I mean, it's. Getting obvious from those leaks. Summer 2022. And then the final team, Team 4. And I'm wondering, why is there a purple glow around them? Hmm, is that a hint? Yes, it is. Uh, autumn 2022. DLC character, the ro update roadmap. And I'm really glad they did this, because this is really, really nice from them. Um, to tell us, you know, what the characters are. So... King of Waters Team Pass 1 and Team Pass 2. Team Pass 1 is part of the uh, Deluxe Edition. If you pre uh, purchase that, you'll get to play the game on Monday the 14th rather than the 17th. So about three days earlier. Um, and Team 2, we don't know what the pricing is yet. Uh, we'll know when the time comes. So coming out on the 17th. So pre, uh, early, early, uh, early access is only available on the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series. So it's not available on the PC early access early access for three days again base game team team one and team two so you get those both both teams and that's why they will they announce them so that if you are thinking about buying the deluxe edition you have an idea what characters you're buying which is you know it makes sense and of course you get in the early purchase bonus of Garu Mark of the Wolf Terry DLC costume um, as well as Leona, which we just saw a trailer for. Uh, then the other thing I want to talk about is, as I said, uh, Famitsu is going to have an actual uh, a special about the King of Fighters 15 this, this week. And they show the scan. Yeah, so. It's this one right here. So this is two pages from the 14. Is that 14? I think it's 14 pages special that they have. They're talking about DLC as well. So that's releasing on February uh, the 17th, but it's coming at the release on February 3rd, actually, so Thursday. And as you can see here, there's a little image. Let me see if I can make it bigger. There you go, this one. Um, so as you can see, this is a stage we haven't seen. There's Andy and Kyo, and this is a stage that we haven't seen yet. Well, actually, we kind of did. It was for a single frame in the trailer. It was actually uh, when Clemens Bellamy was talking. It's Part of a cutscene, you see this behind. So this is supposed to be the finals 
uh, venue where the finals are going to be played for the King of Fighters 15 tournament. And probably things are not going to go as expected because, again, this is the King of Fighters. Um, uh, that is pretty much it. So there's also, as I said, the, uh, the, the SNK has updated whoops, the team's stories for uh for the game so and that they just talked about the, the dlc characters quickly showing that they actually have a story and not just you know just you know useless dlc characters we're not useless but he's, he's, you know what i mean um so let me share that with you here in a second boo and i am back i am back so here's a story for rock howard Though he's the son of the fearsome Geese Howard, this young fighter with a complicated past was raised by Terry Bogart. A virtual prodigy when it comes to fighting, Rock has learned to utilize fighting sauce passed down from both his father and stepfather. B. Janet convinces him to join Team Garo, this KOF. So that shows that there's actually a story for these DLC characters, which is really great, which means they can have an ending. Gato, this cold and calculated masterclass fighter, always strays away from the pack. He set out for vengeance after his mother died at the hands of his father. Though he wishes to go his own way, B. Janet was able to convince him to join the team as she has some info on his father's whereabouts. Uh, so again, it's B. Janet who actually um, gathered the other two fighters and asked them to join her. B. Janet, the leader of a band of pirates known as the Lillian Knights. B. Janet has traveled the world far and wide daughter of the Byrne family, an influential international cartel, she became bored of her luxurious but tedious life and ran away to form the Lillian Knights. After the, after the tumultuous, tumultuous, tumultuous events of the previous KOF, because she was in 11, B. Janet has her suspicions that the worst is not over yet and sets her sights on joining this KOF to see what's in store. So she was actually interested in the, what happened. In the King of Fighters, 14 um so there you have it a lot of things to unpack was a long video longer than i expected i hope you guys enjoyed it this is uh we're in for a crazy couple of weeks before the game's release so i'm expecting something every day at this point i hope you guys enjoyed this video as i said don't forget to like and subscribe and please go watch the king of fighters 15 the story so far again it's a web series that is uh, supposed to tell the story of the king of fighters and the lore of King of Fighters from 94 up to 15. It is, as I said, a project that was supported and approved by SNK and Kosh Media. So please check it out. And until next time, you guys stay safe. I hope you guys enjoyed this video from Neo Geo Now. Now don't forget to like and subscribe if you have not done so. And I would like to take this opportunity and thank my patrons for supporting the channel and making this content possible. Making daily videos and especially the documentaries and lore episodes takes a very long time and a lot of effort, and being able to get some support for these time-consuming tasks allow me to keep going and strive for more and better content. With that said, I want to give a big special shout out to Michael, Brian Yard, Fahad Aswadi, and Jack Paul, as well as special thanks to Shaka Asamiya, Refugio Robles. Felipe Guimara, Ji Hao Ju, Muhammad Al Blushi, Anthony Longino, Burned Retinas, Lily Wong Esmeralda, and Goran. Those of you who are not yet Neo Geo Now patrons, I hope you will check my Patreon page where you can become patrons, helping the channel produce more videos as well as receive special perks that are exclusive to patrons, like early access to videos, exclusive making offs, and other SNK digital goodies. Link for the Neo Geo Patreon page is in the description below. So until next time, thank you for watching.